Uh, no, it made me think differently about the role of a, of a working scientist. Um, so I was here, uh, you know, I, I've been studying hurricanes with colleagues at Lamont for, for a decade and a half and, well, a dozen years at that time. And, um, but not focusing on individual weather events. I'm not a forecaster. We don't really have weather forecasters at Lamont. It's one of the few things we don't have. Um, Sean mentioned we have just about everything else. But I've become interested in, in weather events, you know, in, in the local weather more and more over the years. And we'd had Irene the year before, which was very exciting for me, even though it didn't, wasn't so destructive in the city in the end. But then Sandy comes and uh, what happened is I just started getting phone calls. I mean, it never had happened to me before. We have some scientists who talk to the media all the time. I really hadn't done it um, hardly at all. But I, you know, they wanted hurricane scientists in New York. There aren't very many. So um, I started getting calls and it just sort of snowballed. And um, I actually didn't think there was disinformation. I, I felt a lot of the local media coverage was very good. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to. No, no, but it's important to say because, I mean, some, with some science stories are, are, you know, not handled well. But this one, I, I felt we had a good, well-educated local media. Yep. In part, that was because the city has been taking climate seriously for a long time. I'm a, and I'm a big Janice Huff fan, so you can't say anything against Janice Huff. I, I love her, <laughs> so be careful. But go ahead, yeah. Anyway, so... You know, I just found myself in this position, and, and um, along with many of us, I mean, many local scientists, some, a couple, couple who were in this room, I, I saw Philip Orton, I think, here before, who was a uh, Lamont graduate, who was speaking to the media a lot also at that time about, about the storm surge. And um, I found, you know, so it became, it's become sort of a sideline second career for me in the last couple of years, as I found that I'm comfortable doing this, and once they know who you are, they keep calling you. Uh, so I've been talking about extreme weather events a lot, and I, I felt at first a little bit strange about it. Uh, first of all, a little survivor guilt because this huge disaster was sort of good for my career in some way, but I've gotten over that, I think. But the other um, thing is that it, it, you know, it's not what we think we're paid for. We're paid for doing research and advancing the frontiers of knowledge and not explaining it to the public. But, right, but. Uh, I found the university very supportive, though. Uh, so so it, it does feel but like I mean, part of my the, job But I mean, these now. are... Do we,